Welcome to Align Books. We are happy to have you on board. In this Help Studio tutorial, we will explore the Entity Setup Basic options. Under Basic Setup, you will enter your entity's basic information like entity name, logo, communication details, statutory registration details, etc. Name. Enter the name of the entity for which Books of Accounts is being maintained. One could use the nickname or abbreviated name of the entity as used in day-to-day -day conversation for this column, as printing of the entity name would not be made on the basis of the name entered here. Print name. Enter the name of the entity that one requires to print on invoices, reports, etc. Hence, in case of registered entity, the name of organisation given on registration certificates should be entered here. E.g., in case of entity, the exact name as mentioned in the incorporation certificate needs to be mentioned. Code. The entity code would be automatically generated by the AlignBooks application and would be reflected once you finish the setup. Logo. Select your entity or brand logo which you want to print on all your documents like sales bills, vouchers etc. Logo could be inserted here by clicking the picture of logo through laptop or mobile camera device. The best way to insert the logo is selecting the file, JPEG or PDF containing the logo by browsing from the desired space. Please note that the logo file size should not exceed 2 megabytes. Address. Enter your complete address, like building name, road or street number, and name. Preferably, the registered address of the entity for which books of accounts are being prepared should be entered here, because this address will be printed on all documents or reports. Country. Select your country from the drop-down list. If your country name does not figure in the list, you can add the country name by clicking plus. State. Select the relevant state from the drop-down list. If your state name does not figure in the list, you can add the state name by clicking plus. City. Select your city from the drop-down list. If your city name does not figure in the list, you can add the city name by clicking plus. PIN. Enter the PIN or zip code for the selected city or area. Phone. Enter the phone numbers of the entity. Email. Enter the email address of the entity. Longitude. Enter the longitude and latitude in respect of the entity address, as mentioned in the address column. That would help people to locate your location easily by using various advanced applications. Website. Enter the web page address of the entity. Facebook. Enter your Facebook account name.
Skype. Enter your Skype account name. Twitter. Enter your Twitter account name. LinkedIn. Enter your LinkedIn account name. PAN. Enter the permanent account number, PAN, or taxpayer's identification number, TIN, of the entity. TAN. Enter the tax deduction account number, TAN, of the entity. CIN. Enter the entity identity number, CIN, of the entity. GST or TIN. Enter your goods and service tax registration number. Establishment Code. Enter the Establishment Code provided by the PF organisation. ESI Number. Enter your employee's State Insurance Registration Number if the entity is registered with Employee State Insurance, ESI Authority. PF Number. Enter your Provident Fund registration number if the entity is registered with Provident Fund, PF, Authority. Authorised Person. Enter the name of the person whose name is needed to be printed on statutory forms and returns, like Form 16A, TDS or GST returns, etc. Custom Licence Number. Enter your import or export licence number if the entity is dealing in export and import of goods or services. Click on Save to save the information entered above. Click on Close to exit from the Entity Setup menu. Your Entity Setup, a one-time exercise, is done. However, you can change or modify the information at any time if so required. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give us a shout for help. Happy aligning!